Steve noted that you guys started the fourth quarter. The Jazz started the fourth quarter by going 12 and 2. Again, they had a, a really good burst to start the fourth. How did you guys fight back? What did you think was the biggest factor in, in equalizing this game? Uh, it just took heart, you know, and just wanted to, and will just to, you know, lock in and, and get stop after stop after stop. And uh, that unit I was out there <laughs> did that and just kept getting stopped, getting stops. and. Uh, transition and then they capitalize on that so you know once we once we get them going defensively um, it's kind of hard to stop us but we got to want to do it every play what was the communication like in this game because Steve's not a guy who gives speeches it's sort of like players felt this together oh, Draymond. how did you spark each other Draymond he sparked us uh, when we we're down when we were up just uh, being loud you know and, and being aggressive and just telling us you know it's just us out there um, you know we got to have each other's back and get it done and I think that kind of put a, a fire under us, lit a fire under us. And, you know, once one falls, the next one falls and and so forth. So I think all the dominoes fell and, you know, we went on a run. Gary, was, what were some of the issues you saw in the first half in terms of, you know, keeping Utah off the three-point line? Uh, we just didn't we stick to our coverages. We gave up too many easy threes. Um, they knocked them down uh, in the second half. We adjusted to it. And, uh, you know, we, we made it difficult for them to get threes off. Kerr said he didn't tell the team that this was the biggest game of the year, but it was. Uh, did you guys have that conversation? Did you guys know it? Did you think it is? When was this the biggest game of the year so far? Uh, I think guys know it. You know, if we if we if we look at what the situation is, but we got to treat every game like it's our last. Uh, these last f four or five games, uh, must win. You know, just went out. Uh, we would do everything we can if we went out. So that's our mindset and our model, just to just to win out regardless of what the situation is. What's it like out there, uh, the uniqueness of this matchup, the way they play Gobert, which is obviously dropped. He's letting a bunch of guys get wide open threes, but obviously protecting the paint. What's that like for you guys? I uh, just try to make plays for others. Um, we know Rudy's going to sit in the, in the paint, so try to put him in as much actions as we can and make him come up in guard, and, you know, we have guys that can sit there and make plays. Did you feel like that was the key late? I mean, I would say probably six of your last eight threes were – you know, going against his drop coverage. Oh, absolutely. Um, we drive, uh, hit the open man, and if you're open, you know, shoot it with confidence. And I think that's what everybody did. You've seen what steps. All right, Gary Payton, the second man. He's